constructs. So let's talk about the latent construct for a second. Latent constructs are theoretical, cannot be observed or measured directly. So by the definition, research must operational define the latent variable of interest in terms of behavior believed to represent it. As such, the unobserved variable is linked to one that is observed, thereby making its measurement possible. Quality of life, the example that we discussed about at first, when we talk about quality of life, we may not directly measure what exactly quality of life. In order to represent that concept quality of life, some of you, of you mentioned that we need to measure people's daily well-being. And that daily well-being may again involve into a lot of other factors that we can directly measure. So for instance, people's mental health, people's physical health, uh, people's work quality, uh, people's social life quality. So all those uh, can again be defined as latent construct, again, a little bit non-directly measured. Uh, in order to measure those uh, uh, latent variable again, we will develop the more uh, directly measurable indicators to reflect those latent uh, constructs. So researchers usually need to develop a set of indicators which can represent the underlying construct. So um, instead of having one variable here, uh, quality of life, uh, we might having a set of question, question, questions. Uh, each question will be a individual indicators which can directly measure to represent the latent construct quality of life. Um, as you can tell that because the latent construct are not directly measurable, there are some issues that with latent construct that uh, we need to consider about the measurement validity and the measurement reliability. So as you can tell that the latent construct is very theoretical. It purely depends on the uh, theory. Theory will telling us that in quality of life, we need to look at multi-dimension. But what are those multi-dimension that we should look at that, right? How, again, I will back to operational definition, how exactly we should measure quality of life. Maybe some of you come to me and say, well, I want to measure quality of life more emphasis on health components. Then I will have another person come to me and say, wait a minute, I disagree. For quality of life, instead of using uh, 10 indicators and measure health directly, I want to using 20 indicators, not only measure the health components, but also measure people's social life. Now another, a third person will come to me and say, oh, I disagree with 20 indicators. That sounds too much, but 10 indicators may not be enough. Let me use 15 indicators instead. With those three sets of different indicators, who should we listen to? What, what one can, we, can we consider as a good measurement to well represent our latent construct?